Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 29th of September to the 6th of October 2019. We begin the week with a very graceful and elegant new moon in Libra. This moon is celebrating life in the present moment, life as a dance, clearing some space that we can actually move into and free flow. So sometimes that space is taken up by a lot of psychological associations from our past, turning life into a difficult slog, focusing on drudgery and hardship, worrying about negative outcomes and casting problems into the future. But can we stop a while and feel the pulse and the excitement and the rhythm of life in the present moment? So at the time of the equinox, which is a pause and a balancement, we have this new moon coming in encouraging us to just stop and flow and get back into the rhythm of life. So this is very creative energy where we put our mind where attention goes, energy flows. So putting our mind onto creative projects for the winter, breathing deeply, finding some peace as we're constantly in the process of decluttering, getting rid of some of those blocks and beliefs and worries that can clutter our world. On Monday I feel that there's a sense of certainty coming in on something that's been quite foggy over the summer. We are largely in a direct action phase now, with Saturn having gone direct, um, having had stasis since April, April to September, to really revise and review who we are and where we're coming from. But now heading direct, there's a sense of clarity, there's a sense of the fog lifting being able to see, having revised the journey ahead, clear horizons where we really want to put our energy. But one of the big aspects this week is Venus square Pluto. And I feel that this is perfect for the Libran recalibration phase. Venus is in Libra and Pluto is in Capricorn. Both of these call for a fair balance to be restored between the masculine and the feminine to raise up from the lower to the higher frequencies, to take responsibility for what we're outputting, especially on a psychological, emotional and sexual level. Because we're heading towards relationships transforming into soul relating, rather than the psychological battlefield. But the world has been so heavily programmed into focusing on projecting on the other person, issues that are inside of us, blame, retention. But Pluto in Capricorn wants to bring everything up and clear the air so that Venus can dance. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday really taking a very deep look at any repressed anger, any toxic beliefs, behaviours and attitudes that could be causing psycho-emotional sexual problems, possessiveness, jealousy, things like that and allowing those all to come up under this square so that we can free ourselves from that, be free in ourselves, but also allow others in our lives to be free as well. So creativity, freedom and expression are the result of this, but slightly psychological as we need to go in and do some clearing up there if anything's still lurking around. So the question really is how can you expect someone to love you if you don't love yourself? very weird and yet that's become the norm, wanting someone to validate and love you when you don't have that for yourself or wanting to love someone else when you don't actually have love for yourself within. So this is one of the questions that's going to come up. How can you expect someone else to come and do your work for you? We've been programmed with ideas like I want somebody to accept me for all that I am. But if parts of who you are are false, negative, self-loathing, low self-esteem, then that's actually our job to inspect and heal and clear that, not somebody else's. So this sense of self-responsibility is what will raise the frequency. You don't have to rely on or ask someone else to come and do your own work for you. But also then, to be able to accept someone else for who they are, not take on their baggage, but at least be there to show them how to clear it. So a huge raising in frequency there, taking responsibility, bringing anything up to be cleared, 
leaves us with a freedom and liberation and a chance to have soul flow connections. By Thursday, Mercury moves into Scorpio. So we go back to Monday and that sense of certainty. We're ready to take decisive action now. So really knowing ourselves, having refocused over the summer, Mercury can tune into higher thoughts, transformative thoughts, and with clarity, begin to act on those thoughts. On Friday, Mars moves into Libra. So this really is the raising of the vibration. Lots of masculine, feminine alchemy going on here. Mars raises the tone, raises the frequency in relationships, our relationship to self and other. And the question really here is how high can you go? So very cleansing, consciousness raising, energies all working together there. And all of this in combination from the new moon in Libra, asking us to dance in the present moment and feel the pulse and flow of life through the alchemy that goes on with Venus Pluto square, the clarity that comes in with Mercury moving into Scorpio and the raising of vibration with Mars in Libra. By the weekend, we can explore happiness as a state of mind. If you're not happy, can you change your mind? As Uranus and Mercury intrigue us into new ways of thinking, while Saturn and the Sun challenge outdated concepts. So there's work going on on every level here, the physical, the mental, the emotional and the spiritual, with day-by-day -day instructions of areas that we can focus on and energies that we can harness to make our lives more free, easy and flowing and soul-centred. If you'd like to look at where this is happening for you, as it happens in different places for all of us according to the orientation of our soul plan birth chart, then I am available for readings one-to-one, -one, in person or online. These insights are written up daily on Facebook at AstroZo and on Instagram at ZoeHind7. And these and more videos are available on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro. So to get in contact, ask questions, arrange a reading, then I invite you to email me zoehind7 at gmail.com. So there's the horoscopes this week, and I'll see you next week.